in an excel file you can open an excel file and uh, uh, write a test case for it first manually and then you can automate it so good afternoon sir this is vinay upadhyay uh, based currently connecting from chennai my all graduation btech and all are done from mumbai maharashtra so there i got placed into one mnc company uh, which is facility management company uh, under that i switched uh, shifted to chennai for my job here i am working in where uh, i am managing here one six story facility uh, six story building uh, where multiple data centers are there uh, where i met a lot of developing and software testing team and uh, got fascinated into this uh, software testing field so that onwards i started learning about this field and uh, i done one certification uh, means what are the skills is required to uh, become a actual software tester so uh, that that study is still going on i'm still learning that so in between i got the opportunity to we get interviewed by the corporate team okay uh so uh what actually fascinated you to bring to a qa profile or what what actually you, what was your thought process for being a qa so here uh what my job role requirement is uh, here we are not only maintaining the data center we are also building the data center so under me there is a multiple team who are working so here my job role is to uh, guide them and ensure the quality of work which is getting done so same thing i am seeing uh, if i am doing this work on this facility my uh, impact is limited to this site only if i the same uh, things are aligning with the it thing also it software testing also but the impact will be more bigger so that one thing uh, it, it uh, really motivated me to switch to the site thing although and also i met with a few wonderful people here in tcl who are already in this field they also uh, helped me and guided me for this thing okay so uh, okay so we'll just uh, start with uh, whatever um, uh testing uh things you have gone through right now so have you tried any hands on uh, uh, uh have you tried any hands on on the uh, the testing that you have learned yeah uh, i if I, you allow me to present i kept my eclipse uh, id open mm-hmm. where i tried uh, automation thing which is uh, i am learning with the greens technology so it is uh, like uh, there is one website automation exercise website there is multiple uh, test cases already written so i try to automate them uh, with the help of uh, java java and uh, selenium web automation tool so in that uh, testing the framework i used and uh, i tried to automate the things hands on mm, what actually we are doing in the if i become a tester what day to day i will do in the office uh-huh. that same thing i tried to uh, learn here by myself so okay so um, as a tester yeah, as you said you, you are going to learn uh, something a day to day activity so uh, from your current learning uh what have you learned that uh, the, the a tester does in his uh, day to day life uh, means day to day work so day to day work here in the dcl but that when i can explain a little bit uh-huh. so here they are following the agile methodology uh-huh. uh this is a one development life cycle method so well a tester means more core thing will be same only uh, a tester is supposed to find a, find a bug or a failure of any developer build and uh, means in, they are there in the system to enhance the quality of the uh, product or whatever the services application company is building um, 
and what is the uh, demand from the software it is delivering that or what it is supposed to do it is uh, delivering or it is doing that or not that is uh, for ensuring that thing uh, software testers are there so here day to day what they are doing some scrum call will be there in the morning itself what uh, they have to do uh, means what previous day they done what currently they are planning to do and what is uh, so have I mean, they plan to do so have yes. you gone through the uh, agile uh, methodology uh, what actually uh, agile methodology follows and how it is impacting in uh, uh, testing or how how have they implemented hmm. in the testing things for a qa team yes. practically i i am not part of agile thing but oh. i have idea proper idea means how it is happening what it is impacting because uh, day to day i am with the it people only my work doesn't in uh, means it's not uh, with the it work development or testing part mm-hmm. but uh, majorly no, i know what is okay. going what is. okay so for no no from the qa perspective i'm asking is that in agile mm-hmm. okay you haven't gone through that uh, you haven't uh, gone uh, through that uh, uh, agile uh, Team uh, hmm. s- uh, scrums or the processes, but uh, when you were preparing hmm. for a QA, so did you get a chance to hmm. uh, to know about Agile? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so uh, if Agile is uh, fast delivering uh, software development method, in this mostly what we are doing, there will be certain period uh, which we will decide to be one sprint, suppose or. Uh, Two weeks or three weeks, and in the end of this this sprint, uh, we will have one piece of software which we will deliver to client or uh, who are the stakeholders. Uh, so prior to that itself, uh, previously we were following which are the methodologies. In that, once the build is developed, then software testing part used to come in. But uh, in means uh, if in the agile model, what we are doing. we are building one one segments of the uh, software one one part suppose uh, one big requirement is there we are dividing this requirement into in the form of stories uh, to be precise with the word uh, in the form of stories they are uh, giving to developer team and once these stories are getting developed side by side uh, testing is also being done so uh, agile method methodology it is helping uh, with that means in the end of the sprint we will have one uh, piece of software which we can deliver and based on the feedback uh, if any other requirement uh, we can include in our development also we don't have to wait uh, to complete the end to end development of the software in between also we agile methodology we are very flexible to get the additional requirement or any change in the requirements sir okay so, okay <clears throat> uh do you know about the testing uh, life cycle hmm. so uh, testing life cycle is also part of the development life cycle only so in testing life cycle what we do we uh, prepare the uh, means uh, test cases uh, we execute the test cases and uh, we prepare the traceability matrix uh, for the test cases and uh, once it's uh... hello yeah yeah i can go it yeah i'm listening to it hmm. so uh, preparation of the test cases execution of the test cases also um, once this uh, any in the execution part if we found any uh, bug or uh, Uh, any uh, functionality which is expected to do something and it's not delivering that thing so we we report to that bug to the developer and we wait to get it uh, resolved once the developer written uh, that uh, uh, bug okay it is clear we will retest that thing and uh, after retesting if it is uh, properly working as expected so we will close that bug and uh, likewise we will test all the software suppose that bug is uh, still there or it is not doing as expected so we will be open and we will send it to developer to resolve it suppose all the bugs if it is closed all the functionality is working as expected so
so we will close that sprint okay they so are, can you uh, okay, so can a, you uh, can you explain me the uh, phases uh, of this uh, testing life cycle life cycle the whatever part have you explained till now can you put it in some uh, we have testing life cycle as in phases so can you put those things into mm-hmm. the phases uh, in which phase what will happen and what is the sequence of hap- happening those uh, sequences yeah those phases mm-hmm. <clears throat> it is uh, very concisely i can't recall but uh, whatever i know i'll tell first uh, the test case preparation will be there and uh, in this we will uh, take the broad overview which uh, uh, broadly what are the features going to be tested and then detailed test cases will be getting prepared and we will see according to traceability metrics means so what are the uh, features it is covering means broadly we will try to cover everything okay. and uh, after okay, test case yeah. preparation we will go to <laughs> no, that's fine it's okay <clears throat> uh, okay coming uh, back to automation part have you have you learned the automation uh, have you learned any uh, language to how to automate the test cases yeah i learned java and uh, selenium okay <clears throat> so can you write a test case for me uh, a manual test case uh, to uh, launch a browser to go to a uh, element and uh, verify something on it so uh, should i present my screen let's see you are yeah, telling me yeah, to type yeah sure it. you yeah you can share yeah. your screen and uh, uh, one second yeah Okay, screen. Just sharing everything. Sharing everything, no? Yes, yes. Okay, this thing. Uh, we close. I was working on. No, uh, what you can do is open uh, in an Excel file. You can open an Excel file and uh, uh, oh. write a test case for it first manually, and then you can automate it. Okay, okay, okay. I will open one. Excel. Yeah, yeah, sure. so you said i need to write a test case for opening a web page hmm. and uh, go to certain element yes yes okay so first uh, uh, before this we will uh, get some uh, some questions which browser we want to use first mm-hmm. or uh, chrome we are using yeah you and, can uh, no no uh, i want you to uh, write Uh, completely right whatever you are uh, saying okay okay so first we will go with the positive test case okay okay and then sorry the positive test case so first uh, we will have some url mm-hmm. suppose we are having suppose we are going on to google only okay so our uh, on google we are seeing whether the search box is available or not for uh, simple uh, so first positive test case will be um, we are launching the google um, is chrome um, if i get right so there we can test apps everything this is just normally i am making uh, there is proper format that, which we follow that's fine i for. actually i wanted to uh, i want you to uh, actually i want want to see is like how can you write it how you write a test case um, that's formatting is mm-hmm. uh, fine I, i am not concerned about it but i wanted to see that how you write a test case <coughs> what what uh, scenarios so, can you think of 
so first uh, means if i can verbally tell okay for um, more of a thing you can do is uh, you can uh, do for a uh, <laughs> so first we can uh, suppose uh, we can launch uh, the yeah no no uh, you can write uh, yeah you can write for a, a, a login functionality okay you can take that oh, oh, oh. okay if if ah, this it uh, will be yes. very, it will be huh. browser yes then navigate to link so says so we are going there this login page no no login for a okay. google uh, in google you are log uh, login right that that will also do. okay okay yes okay navigate means open then launch browser and the maximize the screen we can do no no uh, and, these uh, basic step uh, i can understand you can think of uh, more of a uh, next level rather than <coughs> okay so uh, launch browser is there uh, you you go to the uh, login page yeah browser next. we put the username uh. and the password correct username correct password we put it uh. so it should uh, send it means uh, all the gmail option or web drive or uh, google drive option it should show uh, which is associated with that mail id okay Uh, that will be correct. Correct username and password we are putting. Password, sorry sir. Uh, so it should uh, successfully let us uh, log in, and then we can uh, validate by seeing some Gmail option if it is showing or not, or Google Drive things is showing or not. If it is showing, then so we can put it as a password, and then uh, after that we can put uh, one correct password, one in the uh, but correct mail ID, but incorrect password. At the time it should show uh, there means it's still uh, it should not uh, show it should show show wrong password or uh, give us some option of uh, forgetting password. and uh, suppose uh, uh, you can mention thing, the condition there uh, that supposingly if you are using a correct username and password now second step is you are saying as incorrect username right username mm. password okay then mm. what will happen you can just write in a short sentence uh, short uh, keywords so that i can understand easily there mm. इनकरेक्ट पासवर्ड एंड देन बोथ आर वी विल पुट इन करेक्ट एंड देन this is normal positive test cases now for functionality what we can think suppose uh, after clicking on uh, after inputting all these inputs uh, if we are clicking on the button that button is working proper or not so button button functionality we can check and then uh, whether if we are putting the uh, password this password uh, there is one below remember password checkbox comes that checkbox is there and is it working properly or not suppose we put it on checkbox yes so after uh, we will successfully log in and then we will log out and see where our credential is properly saved or not so there password option functionality is working or not okay and then what we can see whether our password is uh, encoded suppose we are typing the password uh, so our password by default it is uh, comes in the star or dotted kind of uh, format so whether uh, uh, there is one i button also there that i button if we are pressing so password is visible or uh, not and after releasing the i button password again it's going to the uh, 
uh, going to uh, again encode it again in this password dot format. Okay. Uh, can you uh, tell me about the oops concepts? What are oops? Oops concept. In yeah. Java. Okay. So there is uh, mainly uh, uh, Java is famous because of this oops concept because we can reuse our uh, codes. So in that uh, first is inheritance. Uh, then first is inheritance where we are uh, extending. Uh, some uh, methods or uh, methods or methods from one class to another class means from parent class to child class we are inheriting that is one of concept which i use uh, frequently then uh, there is uh, inheritance abstraction is that where we are hiding our actual code uh, in 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 the uh, in the what is it in the different interfaces we are using for that uh, another is uh, means i can use those things but i i okay. can't recall uh, the specific names okay can you uh, can you write a, a small uh, java program for me no, okay sure. yeah can you share yeah i can use eclipse huh? uh, that's fine not an issue i just Uh, want to see the syntax and all so uh, and the logic uh, you can open a notepad and write a program there as in well. notepad huh? yeah okay okay <clears throat> okay sir Okay, can you write a a program for reversing a string? Reversing a string. Yeah, you can take any string yeah. as an input, yeah. and then you can uh, you can take your name as well, and you can print that in a reverse order. Okay, I'll take my name, but in Notepad, I'm not sure I will be able to do it. Uh, in Excel, I can do. Like, no, you can. <coughs> you can just uh, uh, tell me uh, means while writing as well. You can. Oh, uh, I will do. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can so mention me what the... what logic are you trying to implement here? Hmm. So in this, what I will do, I will uh, index by index. I am uh, going to uh, get this means this pin name. I will use one loop in the loop. I will uh, run the loop. uh from i0 to uh, the length of the string in this case the length of the string will be uh 5 so i will run the loop into reverse direction from means descending order and uh means suppose uh, i am in the i i minus minus i will use i will type it. first i will store one in Length equals to uh, name dot length. Some function is there in which uh, this string length will be get stored. This enter storing this thing. What we can do? We can uh, start one for loop. Where in i will store it will start from uh, zero and I will go up to this length thing. Means this length thing. Or directly here we can put the name dot. This storing will be we can save no need of any. And here we put this thing. Then <coughs> I um, we will put minus minus for here. I am taking because I will run this. Okay, sorry, I got some. What we can do? We can start the thing with the 
uh, say uh, maximum suppose we are starting with the fifth so from 0 1 2 4 fifth length will be there uh, this here will be 5 and uh, it will print the uh, this position so system dot out and then we will not put other let's see if not then main pass then step then we will put it this is one uh, function is there where by index we can uh, get the uh, that uh, character uh, of the string if we are putting the index that index character we can get so i will use that function here so what it will do let me just check okay fine uh, that's uh, that is fine uh, you can check it at your end that how it will work or not okay and uh, mm. you need to uh, check on that uh, because uh, mm. uh, <clears throat> from my perspective this will not work okay okay now uh, i'm just going to share you the feedback uh, so mm. whatever uh, you have uh, first uh, thing I will like you to mention that uh, whatever in the resume that you have mentioned uh, only mention those things that you know actually because uh, uh, <clears throat> mentioning everything in your resume will not help because in interview there might be many questions coming in from each of the keywords that you are mentioning in your resume okay so first mm -hmm. thing should be that secondly <clears throat> whatever uh, you have worked on or whatever you are working on should be uh, uh, very uh, clear in your head about the concept of each and everything okay so whether it's be testing it should be automation or um, uh, whatever things have you mentioned in the resume that your learning point of view so if you want to continue as in <clears throat> if you want to uh, uh, means, uh, go in a uh, you can uh, stop sharing your screen, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, whatever uh, you have mentioned in your resume with respect to that, you should be uh, working on uh, that uh, points, okay? And uh, don't mm -hmm. mention too many things because you are since a, a, a beginner and uh, whatever you have mentioned in mm -hmm. uh, your resume, yeah, like you have mentioned in Git and uh, uh, all those... Uh, uh, Jira and uh, other things so uh, those are uh, 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 those are like in advanced level or uh, those are like next level wherein like after you are testing these things will come up to you that's required but basically when you are starting your career as in QA you should be first focusing on the testing things uh, that's the basic testing things and uh, that should be very much clear to you first of all and then you can start with the automation things okay and uh, okay. yeah uh, yeah that's it because uh, in every aspect you need to uh, uh, need to learn more of it okay and how, uh, as you uh, keep on adding those things in your resume uh, that will eventually uh, even, uh, give you um, uh, the aspect of your uh, learning will increase on that okay mm so currently just mention in whatever you are doing like in is like manual testing and if you are doing an automation you should be cover uh, uh, completely well versed with the oops concept the java part the mm. test case mm. uh, the selenium part that this should be a very well versed part with you right now okay because since you are a beginner in that okay so it doesn't uh, counts that wherein from where have you learned but what have you learned it it will impact a lot okay <clears throat> no understood oh. it's my own concept that uh, i need to yes, i should have this much knowledge that i can explain to other person for time yes it, it should be very much clear in your head that what are the basic oops, oops concept the it will later on come uh, in like uh, what have you uh, done with uh, with the java in your uh, testing point of view okay so that will come up later but first what are oops concept what is java because <clears throat> in testing view 
<coughs> have to use uh, means uh, while automation you have to keep in mind all these aspects while loops concepts are being used so you can't just uh, write a test case uh, automate it and say that you can automate a test case because there is not just uh, writing a, a script is not what you s learn because uh, there are many much many more things that come up in a new uh, and uh, enter into industry okay okay anything no, for uh, yeah, any one, question yes one, one question i had hmm. uh, should i focus more on manual thing or uh, the, the automation because uh, uh, I, I think am more <coughs> yeah since you are yeah automation. since you are not coming from a technical part or a, not from a coding aspect you should first try for a manual testing and side by side learn the automation but your primary focus should be on the yeah. manual thing first and then in the automation because mm -hmm. autom learning automation will it take is. time for you yeah mm -hmm. yes correct uh uh, manual means uh, this theory concepts I should uh, focus on more or yes, yes. Uh, some real project scenario I should think uh, and uh, develop my thinking uh, perspective. See first uh, so that's what I mentioned the basic is that you should be very well versed with the very uh, core testing concepts first of all then you can hmm. you will be able to implement them into the real lifetime project. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you need to understand each and every testing aspect those are mentioned or testing things those are mentioned. You need to first understand those <clears throat> and you can take an example of each and everything and then you can come back and say that okay so these are the testing things those are done in an industrial level and then you can take mm -hmm. a dummy project and try to uh, map it with your uh, testing things. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, yes. more, firstly, more focus on the manual. Uh, yes. And get my core concept clear. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat>